Hey guys, how you doing? Here I am once more. Now we are talking to the most famous cat or echo flip, you name it, in Astro and I think around the 12th world. It's Kerbab again. Now we're talking to him because we want some new ways of transportation. So we first come here to the echo flip zone and we will need to run a quest for this character. This is very simple, although I would recommend you to have a decent gear because the combats that you need to have here are not so simple. But even if you don't have like the best gear and you're not super high level, it's just a matter of knowing how to play it, you know? So after talking to him, he's gonna tell you that he's preparing certain stuff and you need to help him distract the creatures of the zone. In total, you will need to kill five of these little ones. So as you can see in the video, it's not so difficult. Now, I found a interesting strategy to kill these things and it's that they don't hit you if you are not in line with them. So that's really useful. So anytime you can avoid being in line with them, just do it. As you can see here, I was about to die, but I didn't die. So here, uh, I think I'm gonna be able to show you a better example of having a good technique. As you can see, I'm full health now with the echo flip, just because I didn't stay in line with them. So after killing all the five monsters, it will be a total of three combats. You talk to the cat again, and you will need to use the spyglass. Then you need to talk to him once more, and you will teleport to the next part and use the spyglass again. You will do this a total of three times, and you will like kind of explore with the spyglass the zones of Echo Flip Dimension. So then you speak to him again, you go back to Astrop, and that's it. That was the first quest of today's episode. Now you talk to him once more, because now we want to start like um, the most important quest. There's gonna be only two quests that are really relevant for us right now. And that's going to be the Shushu one. Now, if you didn't know, all Kerob's house is a demon, let's call it like that, a Shushu Favorito, I don't really know the name of that, it's a little bit complicated. So this quest is called Domestic Martyr, and you will need to help him distract a officer that is researching certain stuff. The first thing you're gonna do is go into the bank and try to take a feather of the banker. Now he says that uh, you can't do that. So you need to talk you need to talk, sorry, to Snorri Nerp. He's gonna tell you that his wife constantly hits him with some kind of <laughs> broom. So you go to the tavern and look for that broom. It's gonna be upstairs. So if you research on this broom you will find a feather. So that's it, that's your first feather. You will need a total of three. For the second one, you need to talk to Herodigris. He will tell you that he wrote a new book and stuff like that because he's a little bit boastful. But shortly after talking to him, you will get a book. And it seems like inside this book, you will find the next feather. So be mindful of talking to him in the way I did because if you didn't do that, you're gonna waste time. And there you have it, the second feather. Now the third one is actually the easiest one because you actually just need to kill a Tafu that is going to be located in the Astrup mine. Now, this is not a common Tafu. It's gonna be one that's gonna be here for this quest only. So you talk to him and you kill him. It's gonna be easy because these monsters have like 100 and something health. So just a couple of 
hits and you are done. You can run this in group, no problem, you will drop it, it's 100% rate. Then you talk to Kerob again and he's gonna tell you the next steps. But with this, you finish the first quest and the second of this episode. Now you will go for the third one, which is going to be the last one for today's part with Kerob. Now you have a little bit more quest with him, but for now, that's going to be the last one. So you talk to him and you will do another Shoo Shoo Shack. Now, you will need to talk to Galafat, which is the officer that I talked about before. You will need to invite him a beer. So you will need to buy a beer and tell him that you want to give you give him this beer, sorry. <laughs> then you will need to talk to Kerob again because he told you his plans and he told you the reason why he is in Astrup. So Kerob is a little bit worried that people know his secret and he needs some kind of a martyr or something. So you will need to talk to Matt. You will need to kill this guy because it seems like Kerob is gonna cast a spell on him to use him as a bait or something just like that. Now after killing him is a very simple combat and you will get him as a follower with all the characters in the combat. So you go back to Carob, you talk to him and he is going to tell you the rest of his plan. So for now you need to talk to Galfa once more you need to tell him about this monster that people's talking about and you will need to enter to this house over here. Now you will find that Carabob turned mad into a giant bear, which is called the Shushu Baka. Now you will need to kill this bear with the help of Galafat. And it's a super easy combat because Galafat hits super hard, so you don't really need to do much. Just wait, and if you want to hit it, it's alright, but it's not really necessary. Then you talk to him once more, and he is going to tell you that his job is done, and now he needs to come back home. As it happens, you will notice that Carob is camouflaged with a barrel potion you will talk to him he's gonna thank you for doing this because you basically saved his house's life he's gonna give you some kind of a pass boarding pass or something so you will show Nash this pass and he will tell you that now you are capable of traveling using his transportation now, this transportation model will depend on your level. So the first two areas are gonna be displayed. This is going to be the first one, Kenya Bay, and the second one, Heroes Cemetery. So as you can see here on the map, the Kenya Bay is gonna be real close to this area. I'm gonna show you here. And the cemetery is actually shown on the map. You can see the stagecoach over here. It means that you can actually go there and go back. Now, if you take the, op the option to go to the Kenya Bay, you will not have a state coach here, which means that it's a one way teleporting. Now, I'm going to show you here real quickly that as I traveled there, I decided to enter to the Doppel's um, town just to see how things were over there because I didn't remember it. it has been a long time and I found the dark blood doppel so I killed him with a challenge because remember that monsters have challenges as well it's not the best one in terms of resources but it grants you a decent experience and also it's gonna give you decent achievement points which is amazing remember that i told you in the last episode that one of my goals here is to get to one no let's see one no no one thousand 
10,000 points. 10,000 different points. So we're aiming that. We are now above 2,000. So we're getting there. And as you can see, I also needed to kill the rest of the doubles to get the achievement. So as I'm going to show you here real quick, I just did that. I killed all the doubles and I got some mates as well as the juicy experience in Camas. Now, after doing so, remember that I'm also running the quest of the dungeons. So I decided to go and complete the larva dungeon. You will see that I actually messed up with the third achievement which is the special because I didn't really understand that one but I'm gonna explain you that in case you don't understand it either as you can see here is where it happens so I hit the larva and it says that fighters may only inflict damage on the shin larva when they are under this special state which means that you can't damage any other kind of monsters but the Shin Larva when you are under this state. The states will provide you with four action points as far as I know. So it's gonna be good, but you will also have less movement points. So you will need to know how to use it. But anyways, don't worry, I could do it. And then I tried again and I did the whole special Achievement with the whole team rather Now it's time to go to Albu era. Yes, sir Now you go to matters time and you talk to this girl over here and she will take you to the island for the amount of 100 camas Now I talked to this one over here because I also wanted to Get to know the island a little bit more. This is the end level part. So I wouldn't even explore it because I could get killed. So this is the achievement that we are aiming to do this day. The first quest is going to be with Handel. You will talk to him and he will talk to you about certain issues that are happening over here. You will offer him some help and he will tell you that of course they need some help. You will find a doctor over here trying to heal a wounded person so it says like uh, you don't really need to do something here you just need to talk to him and then you will need to enter to the mill so as you enter here you will talk to this woman over here rusty plain and she is going to tell you that you need to clean the area a little bit you need to clean it <laughs> and she's just gonna pay you like eight bucks an hour <laughs> oh, i'm just kidding so yeah you need to take a broom the broom is actually over here in the map as you take it you will need to equip this one okay because as you can see if you click on the dust that you need to sweep it says that it's difficult to sweep when you don't have a broom in your hands so you need to go and equip this one and now you are able of sweeping the dust you will need to clean up this room very well and in the second you're gonna be into trouble as you can see here i tried to use my sword which was not a good idea because these monsters have some kind of invulnerability in which they can only be killed with weapons so as you can see here now i took the broom i equipped it and now i could kill them so just for you to know you need to equip the broom. Now you talk to her again after cleaning all the room and she's gonna tell you that you need to take some planks to a person that we will meet right now. So as you take the planks, you can now equip your weapon again. And this person is gonna be Ragnar to send. You will need to deliver the planks and you need to go back to handle. So you talk to him for a little while Again, I'm not going deeper into details because this is not a role uh, session, but that was the first quest, the sea sawmill. Now you need to talk to Thor, <laughs> Thor, 
and he will give you the second quest you will need to talk to him and it seems like a person needs some help with some issues or troubles with some birds i think some monsters so you will go to the quarry and you will stop you will talk to scaffolding which is some kind of a minotaur or something i don't know a huge beast you will have a couple of followers and you will need to kill these birds over here now these birds are a little bit tricky to kill because they steal a lot of agility so if your character is an agility based character you will have a couple of troubles here because this is a single player combat and although you have a couple of followers they are oh my god they are useless they just <laughs> they don't do nothing I mean don't rely on them just be mindful that these creatures only hit in I think direct line yep so if you're diagonal or something like that you will be fine you just need to watch your steps you will need to perform a total of two or three combats something just quite like that two or three combats that are not so difficult at all as i mentioned before it's just a strategy combat so yeah it was just two then you talk to scaffolding once more and he is gonna thank you for all the job you did and stuff like that then you need to go back to thor talk to him once more he will thank you for that and well you will need to continue now as you talk to him he's gonna give you a couple of things you'll need to speak to this person over here he is a singer he will sing you a song and it seems like the song contains a piece of history about the island so if you're really interested in the role part just talk to him and read all the dialogue because it's kind of interesting i did it once or twice but it was i mean Duffus quests are almost always the same someone is trying to destroy the war and you need to save the war so yeah for that reason i just stopped reading all the things now as you talk to him you need to pay him one camera to sing you that song and then you need to talk to the tavern manager or something you need to go and pay for two meat jars and invite for a meat jar now as you talk to him he's gonna give you the next piece of information you need to continue with your quest this has been really really easy so far so then you finish talking to him and you will finish the second quest the colony time now you talk to handle once more and you will go for the third one so now he's gonna tell you about some traps that they put so this is the first one i'm showing you the position on the screen here you will find the second one and there is no third one there's just uh, some scratches on this tree that you will need to investigate so as we click on the tree it's going to take you to another place as you go to this place you will need to use this trap over here and you will enter to certain tunnels and you will see rock cooper for the first time you're gonna talk to him because it seems like the 12 yams and i mean the people from the 12 are accusing him of performing certain illegal tasks as you talk to him and you accuse him of doing these things some monsters will attack you and you need to kill them now they are really really simple to kill it's not a big deal and then as you kill them you will need to take this book over here in this tent you find some relevant information that you need to take back to handle now you speak to handle a little bit then you speak to thor a little bit and it's just it's just that talking to them then you will find aster over here which is huh, you will see who he is 
Now you speak to them a thousand times. As you can see, I got the achievement of the investigator for getting 100 quests. And then you need to take the fourth quest because Into the Cool Wolf's Jaws is done. Now, as you talk to Thor one more, you will need to speak to I'm a doctor, which is a doctor of the town. For that reason, his name is I'm a doctor. <laughs> And it seems like there is some kind of problem with the dam over here. It's got a leak, right? So you need to find out what happened. But most importantly, you need to solve the situation because if that keeps doing just like that, it will flood the whole village. As you speak to Scaffolding, he's gonna give you certain super glue that you need to take to the dam and you need to fill the hole as you repair the dam you will need to i'm a doctor he will thank you for doing that rapidly and then you need to take a bomb or some case i don't know why they gave you that but it's gonna be useful in the future as you report to thor he will tell you that you did such a good thing and he will tell you that you need to defeat Rakuper because it seems like they think that Rakuper was the one that sabotaged the dam. They think that Rakuper wants to kill the Twelvians and all the monsters in the village. So is that true? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know? But we all know. <laughs> so. As you progress into the dungeon, I'm kind of skipping the combats because it's just hitting the monsters. You don't really need a strategy here. I will show you the combats when they have a interesting strategy. But if they don't have a real strategy, I will prefer to skip the boring parts. So I'm showing you the last room, of course, because I was trying to get the special achievement but I couldn't do it because I didn't have enough damage. So I decided to just do the rest of the achievements for now and then with the whole team getting the special one. Now that's something that I normally do, getting first the duel and the rest of the achievements and then finally I get the special one because sometimes, sometimes, it's really, really difficult to get all the achievements in one run. It, of course, depends on your character, for example. If you're going with grass and stuff like that, it's a little bit easier because you are playing with the distance. But here, most of my characters, I think the only one that is a range one could be the Fuggernaut, but the rest of them are like mid range, not really super, super long range. So as you can see, the combat with Recuper was not difficult. It was just funny. I really enjoyed this one, to be honest. But anyways, I couldn't do the special, so I'm going to do it later, as I mentioned before. Now, I'm going to tell you that I might change the way I show you the dungeons in the future. Because I'm planning to show you the whole stuff, all the details, but for this you need to tell me what you think about the situation. So, with no further talking, you talk to Recuper again, and he states that the Twelvian came to destroy their lands, which they call the Colony, and they accuse him of damaging the water dam. He says that he couldn't have done such a thing because, I mean, it would flood the tunnels and his kind live there, which means that he will basically kill them. So as we heal the turtle with him, he will help us to get certain pieces of information. As we do this, we need to investigate on this hill and you will need to hide behind this rock over here you will see it on the screen over here so as you 
hide over here, you see that a person approaches and you need to follow this person. You will need to enter clicking on the rocks over here. As you do that, you talk to this person over here, which is the Aster bow. That's the one that we saw before. And it came out that they were the ones that were trying to kill the colony monsters by damaging the water dam. Now, you will need to kill them because they try to silence you or something like that. Of course, they can't do that because you will be stronger than them. And you speak to him once more. He told you, he tells you that they are not like the bad guys here, that Rock Cooper is the bad guy. Then you talk to the turtle and he really wants to kill these people. But, you know, you can do it. I mean, you can select the, the option to do it. But I decided not to because I believe in justice. So you will take them to Thor and he will compare your version against his version and well the turtle gives a little bit more information on that so he decides to believe what you said and that is it that's how you get the achievement of the low level zone in Alvuera. it was really fun i would suggest you to do the same then you talk to Jumbo Mambo once more because he wanted you to run the Rock Cooper dungeon. So we basically did a lot of quests at the same time. And that was the last part of this video, guys. I would like to thank you very much for all the support you have been giving me. And I hope you like this video a lot. Now, as always, if you want me to improve something, if you notice that something's not working properly, I, uh, I mean, I would be super glad to change it. So just let me know in the comments and I will listen to you. Well, read your messages and well, that's it. I'm sorry, guys. I know that I've been a little bit away from YouTube, but you know that I have a life, you know, I need to work. I have a wife. And well, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to be here more than two or three times a week. So thank you very much again. I'll see you in the next one.